Hey, I'm Coach Mike, and I'm gonna to talk to you about how just a tiny little shift in your life is going to make a world of difference today. If you've ever watched someone who's doing archery and they're pointing at a target and they're looking for the bullseye, it's literally just a little bit this way and all of a sudden it even can go off the whole entire frame, right? That's a little bit of a pivot. And I'm gonna teach you how to do a purposeful pivot in your life so you can hit the bullseye and get to where you wanna to get to. So we all have different areas of our life that we need to pivot in. That we're like, ah, oh, if I just made a little bit of a change in this area, I can make a huge result happen in my life. And there's five things that if you do these five things, I guarantee, guarantee, that you will start to make a pivot in your life. So one of those aspects is, it's, it's an acronym. It's Chow F. Sounds like a Chinese restaurant, but it's not. It's the acronym for how to make a big change in your life. And there's curiosity, honesty, openness, willingness, and focus. And those are the five tenets of change to make in your life. The first step is curiosity. Sometimes when we think of curiosity, we're always thinking about like, you know, some random scene for a movie where someone's like going through the fields and somehow getting really curious about life, but it's not that practical. The thing about curiosity is we often don't get that curious about that area of our life that we need to change because it doesn't feel good. We want to feel good. But actually, if we get curious, we can start to look at that problem area of our life and it feels different. What shifts can happen? How have other people done this? Is it possible? Could I do research on this? Could I look this up on YouTube? Just deeply getting curious about what you wanna change. I got sober at 22 years old. I was addicted to meth along with a lot of other drugs. And when I got sober, I began to get curious. I got deeply curious about how other people stayed sober. How the heck did people do this? People used to say they had a year sober. I was like, oh, they're lying. Or how do you even do this thing? And so I would ask different people and mentors and absorb as much information as possible. The next step is honesty. This is a struggle for some people. And you know some of these people. You can see that area of their life that they need to change and they're just not willing to do it. Honesty is getting real and taking a truthful look at that area of our life that we need to change. And honesty is really helpful if we ask trusted friends or family who are safe in terms of their opinion and they tell us their perspective on that area. Openness, open means open to new ways of doing things. I sit down with a lot of people who say, Mike, I really want to change. And then I say, okay, here's some solutions we have in place. And they go, well, that's just not me. Or I'm just not open to it. And I'm like, well, then we can't really make a big pivot in your life if you're not open to changing. The other step would be willingness, which is what lengths are you willing to go to? If you're saying that you want to lose weight, but you're not willing to go to the gym, and you're not willing to change your diet, you can get curious, you can get honest, you can get open, but if you're not willing, which is really about taking action, nothing's going to change. I became willing to go to any lengths to get this thing called sobriety and this thing called living a great life. I had three jobs, I went to school, I went back to school, I studied harder, I was more, and this is the last one, focused. I became focused on exactly what I needed to do. Focus means making it a priority, staying on track, doing what you need to do to set up a framework, a structure, it could be a journal, whatever it is to keep you focused so that you can make a purposeful pivot to have huge results in your life. I went from being a student who had F's and D's and dropping out of college to write a New York Times bestseller this year called Best Self. I went from someone who felt like they were not good enough to being recognized by millions of people on the Dr. Phil show. 
I went from being someone that thought, how the heck do people ever work and show up and do things to starting a treatment center that I started in my apartment in Venice is now has expanded throughout Los Angeles and has been around for over 13 years. I've used these five tenths of change in all of these arenas. And so I'd love to hear what has felt impossible to you that has become possible in the comments below or just provide some information, click subscribe, click the bell so you can get me talking to you more often, and I look forward to connecting with you guys soon.